guys, this is Lord, the Polished Edge. So welcome to my workshop again. This is where I do all my knife sharpening, uh, where all the edge polishing magic happens. So today I've got a Medford knife, a brand new box with me here. And I figured, you know what, I'm gonna unbox this with you as well. So without, uh, you know, talking too much about irrelevant stuff, I'm just gonna open it up. We've got the new box. Uh, on the front here, it says again, warranted forever in new or used original condition. We've also already covered this in the previous video on the UDT-1. Greg Medford's uh, policies on the warranty have significantly relaxed. Uh, in fact, in the past, I suppose if you did have a slight problem with your knife, even if you did disassemble it, uh, he would you know, help you out with it the best he can. Uh, it was just a, a measure to prevent people from messing with the knife to the point where it actually damages the blade. But uh, now, if you just disassembled it just to clean it, or to, you know, uh, I don't know, if you're itchy fingered or something, and you put it back the right way, and there's, you know, there's nothing wrong that you personally did, but there is something wrong with the knife, Greg will take care of you. All right, so we've got the box. Now they come in the Coyote 10 box, uh, Pelican box. Again, you've got the dog tag that says the same thing as this guy over here. Let's put this aside. Of course, when it comes to packaging, uh, this is this is fantastic. This is awesome. I really do love these boxes. I'm pretty sure it does increase cost, but it's definitely a nice touch. You've got your bubble wrap with the desiccant inside to keep the blade dry. Now, this is the Proxima. Okay, and it does flip pretty nicely. Of course, I think this is the uh, slightly older model. Uh, I think it's a pretty recent thing that they put uh, the uh, lock bar stabilizers in here. I'm not sure how old this knife is or what generation it's from, but it does look nice. The action, of course, is nice and smooth. Flips perfectly well. I don't even have the wrist flick and does deploy. Uh, one thing that I would like to take note, uh, again, this is, these are just some thoughts as I'm using the knife, and uh, it's when you close the blade, you see the flipper tab is really long, right? So when you go to close the blade, the flipper tab is going to touch your finger, the one that's holding the back of the blade, and, and it's gonna push it out of the way, okay? I'm not sure you can see that, but it does push your finger out of the way just to clear it. If you're gonna close it one-handed, it might happen to you. Uh, I don't particularly have large hands. Keep your jokes to yourself. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely manageable for me. And it feels really comfortable in the hand. I really like how this scallop over here, you know, uh, fits your index finger just nicely. The forward choil uh, in front of the flipper is, it isn't particularly big enough so that you can put your entire finger in there and get a really close choke up. Uh, it's, it's a little bit on the small side so you can put the end of your index finger there and I guess do some fine cuttings if you had to, but you're not gonna get a full, uh, full grip choke up on it like you would on, let's say, a fixed blade. Or like on the, on, on the, Med, uh, on the Medford Marauder, actually, that has a really big and generous finger choil in the front. I believe these do still run on washers, uh, not bearings. I don't particularly like bearings. It's just additional things that could go wrong, additional parts, and I'm never a fan of doing things like that. So something that other knife reviewers have actually uh, pointed out is that the lock bar surface right here, it actually protrudes out of the scale. And I would have liked for it to be, you know, recessed inside the handle, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. For it to actually fall and hit just at the right spot where it would contact with the lock bar surface, uh, if you ask me, it's pretty astronomical. So chances are it's not gonna happen. It's just a thing. Uh, again, I don't think it's that big a deal, but I, I do wish it was recessed. Okay, so uh, let's slice some stuff. I've got, got some magazine paper over here. Now, one thing about Medford knives I noticed is that from the factory, they come actually really sharp. For, for a knife that's really beefy and chunky, this slices really nicely. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's just push cutting. 
It's nice, aggressive, and bitey too. Very nice edge on it. So it, it's not just a Proxima. Like um, I've had other models as well. Like uh, the Praetorium, they come sharp. The Fat Dad, sorry, not Fat Daddy. The TFF, they come sharp. The Marauders, they come sharp. Uh, it's just a really nice factory edge. One of the better ones that I've seen in the industry anyway. So again, standard issue chopstick. We're just gonna whittle some. Yeah, that just eats it up. It's been a while since I fed a stick to anything. <laughs> Been out of practice. But yeah, you are getting those nice fine cuts. Stick, bamboo, chop, stick. Pointy. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a deeper pull cut. Of course, no issues there. The hollow grind that you find on Medfords really contributes to how well it cuts and I think this would be a fantastic EDC blade. It doesn't exactly drop shot but <laughs> it's not exactly something that Greg wants in his knives anyway. Uh, some people really want it, some people don't care for it, uh, some people, I mean if you have it, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm that third category, if it's there, fine, if it's not there, I really don't care but uh, it is really smooth. It's got that bank vault door kind of feel as you close it. And it's not loose, but does feel really, really good. Anyways, I really like this shape. The jimping's not too aggressive. Uh, compared to the older uh, fullers, I guess, uh, where it's actually rounded, uh, this one is of course, you know, it's kind of like milled out uh, and square at the bottom. Makes it a little bit easier for you to grab with your thumb to deploy if you wanted to, or even spidey flick. So I think I do prefer this style of uh, fuller instead of the, the older ones. But the one thing that really sold me on this, as far as the design was concerned, is that harpoon. I just love that. It's not too much where it's crazy, but it's there. And <laughs> it just looks so sexy. Awesome. Well, there you have it. The Proxima Unboxed. Well, I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If not, at the very least, slightly entertaining. Do give us that like and subscribe. We truly appreciate all the support you guys give us. Also, share this video with your friends. You know, if you've got knife nut friends or friends who are looking to get into Medford or want to just know a little bit more of the Proxima, Share this video with them, okay? If you have any questions, they can also put it down in the comments below and I'll answer those as well. Anyways, until the next video, you guys stay safe and stay sharp.